No. Indians are just like, they're super chilled out. They just, you know what I mean? Indian people, they couldn't do anything malicious in that way, you know? They couldn't, they wouldn't scare you in that way, you know? I mean, can you imagine getting robbed by an Indian guy? It just wouldn't work out, you know? It just wouldn't be the same. Give me your damn money. Give me your money now. Give me your damn, I'll stab you. I'll stab you now. Tony, I'll cut your throat from here to here. I'll give me your damn money. You'd be like, what are you, what are you doing, man? Dude, what are you doing? Don't you, what you laughing about? I'll give you something to laugh. Give me your damn money. Give me your damn money now. You'd be shocked. You wouldn't be scared. We'd be confused. As a person getting robbed there, standing at knife point, an Indian guy, you'd be confused. Because most of us have never been in a situation where we have to give Indian people money without them giving us something in return. It just wouldn't work out. That's why Indian people never play villains in movies, have you noticed that? All the big movies, James Bond and Born Identity, and all, you never have Indian villains, ever, ever, ever. It just doesn't work out. Because Indian people don't have that vibe. They'll use other people, you know, from the Asias and the Middle East and everything. They'll use Chinese and they'll use the Arabs and they love the Muslims now. But they'll never use Indian people. Just wouldn't, they just don't have the dangerous sound to them. It's always got to be, it's got to be the classic scene in the movie, you know. It's got to be the United Nations gathered around a table. Then on the big screen comes that terrorist announcement. The assistant runs in. Sir, sir, it's a message from the terrorist Boris. And they switch on the screen. Pew, and then Boris comes on. Hello, United Nations. <laughs> it is I, Boris. <laughs> Boris Koblechnikov. I have placed bombs all over the world in major city. And if you don't pay me one billion US dollar, I will make world go kaboom. <laughs> You've got one hour. That's for Daniel. And they'd be like, oh, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? They'd be scrambling for the money. They'd be, oh, what are we gonna do? We'd never have an Indian guy doing that. Just wouldn't be the same. Assistant running into the room, sir, sir, it's the infamous terrorist, Rajesh. <laughs> they'd switch on the big screen, pew, and there he'd be. Is it on? <laughs> okay. Hello? Hello, UN? Hello? Namaste? 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 How are you, uncle? Auntie? Pleasure? Pleasure? My name is Rajesh. And I have placed bombs strategically. All over the world. <laughs> now, if y'all don't pay me one billion dollar US, I will proceed to make the entire world go kaboom. <laughs> They'll be like, but, but Rajesh, we don't have money, Rajesh, we don't have money, it's the credit crunch. Okay, how much you got then? 